it's Amelia. I'm doing my makeup inventory today, and I think I'm doing my makeup collection tomorrow. I tried to film one this morning, and I just didn't like how it came out. So, for my inventory, I have my numbers written down on these um, pieces of paper from January. I'm going to read off the numbers from last year as I go, and I'm going to say, obviously, what my numbers are now. And then I'm going to write them down in my planner, and then I'll show you and all that good stuff. I'm going to actually do eyeshadow last, so I'm going to start with eyeliner, which I had to dump out all the stuff from my makeup bag over here. Um, I recently picked up this NYX Epic Ink Liner. Sorry, I can't... That's better. We have more room now. So this is my NYX Epic Ink Liner. Um, I'm testing this out because it's new. In January, I had three eyeliners. This is one of the ones I have now. And then I have this one, which is the Urban Decay All Nighter Eyeliner. This is retractable. Um, these are both waterproof, which I appreciate. I haven't tested out how waterproof the Epic Ink is yet. But, um, with this All Nighter, I am able to touch up when my eyes water and then it doesn't even if my eyes continue to water it doesn't matter next I have eye primers so I have my Urban Decay primer potion which has been a favorite since forever but I also recently got the NYX glitter primer which I don't put in the same category but at the same time I guess I am because it's called a glitter primer um, it hasn't even been used yet it, this is just a backup thing. I talked about it in my haul. So, I had two at the beginning of the year, and I have two now. Um, but they serve different purposes, so I am happy with that. Next, I have mascara. At the beginning of the year, I had three. And now I have this one from Catrice. This is the Glam and Doll False Lashes Mascara in Blackest. I really like this so far. This has, this isn't a review of anything, but just because it's the only mascara, it has this kind of wand, which I personally prefer. Um, it has a curve to it, and it's like a rubber kind of thing. And it's not, I don't like wet mascaras, so this is like a dry mascara. I'm really enjoying it. So I'm down by two for that category. For brow products, I have my Dip Brow Pomade. As you can see here, there's like nothing left. I mean, this is going to last me a while, but it's very low. So I just placed an order, and another one is coming in. So I technically have two for brows, um, but physically in my possession at the moment, I only have one. But I'm going to write two anyway, because it's going to be here by Monday. My numbers have changed in here with eyeshadow. My total is 85. Once I figure out what my eyeshadow total is, I'll figure out if my numbers have overall gone up or down. So far, I'm actually happy with the changes, um, even though I would ideally like one primer and one eyeliner and one brow product. I do think that the two eyeliners I have serve a purpose and the two primers also serve a purpose. And the brow thing is just buying a backup before I run out. So next I'm going to do all my face and lip products. Um, I'm going to do this easy. So lip gloss is still zero. Lip liner is still one. Um, I don't know where my lip liner Oh, here it is. So this is my one lip liner from Bite. And it's okay. I'm panning it. I'm not a lip liner person, so I have no faults on that. For lip balm, I actually only have one right now. This is the ooh, Pacifica Bali Coconut Lip Balm. I like the Watermelon Rainbow or Rainbow Watermelon, whichever. I like that one better, but this one is decent. It's a basic kind of lip balm. It's nothing special. Um, if you have... If you have lips that require more moisture than a basic lip balm provides, I would not recommend it. But my lips are very cooperative with the bare minimum, so that's fine for me. 
I have a ton of lipsticks, which I know that my collection's still small, but this is what I was talking about in my, um, oopsie, my makeup rehab for lipsticks, where it's like, I have a small collection, but I end up with more, every time I do an inventory, is this the wrong way? That's why. I end up with more than I had before. I can't even get them all in frame. Um, my issue is I always end up buying more lipsticks and my inventory numbers always go up. Even though my collection is small and I can use them up, I just end up with more. Um, last time I did my inventory, I had 17. I believe I have 19 now. So, two liquid lingerie from NYX. Three Anastasia. So, that's five. I'm going to put them away. So, five. I have one, two, three, four, five of the bite in these tubes. I'm a mess. Hold on. Okay, so that's ten. Then I have one, two, three. I'm going to count by fives. Four or five. So here's five more. These three are liquid lipsticks. This one's liquefied and this is a crayon. So that's 15 products. Then I have 16, 17, 18, 19. So my lipstick collection went up by two, even though I've been consistently finishing lip products this year, which is exactly my issue that I talked about in that um, makeup rehab video, which is why I started that and why I want to continue doing videos about it because it's a problem for me. For concealer, I had one, and I have this one still, but it's almost out, so I just recently bought these two backups. And I only opened them one at a time, so I'm not concerned. But that number did go up. For foundation, I had four. And now I have these three. So this is this is a really big bottle. This is the Physician's Formula Healthy Foundation. I'm in the shade LW2. Um, this is the NYX Total Control Drop Foundation in vanilla. This is the Wet n Wild Coverall Cream Foundation in 815 Fair. Here's the thing with Wet n Wild. Um, they have an inclusive shade range, in my opinion, with their Photo Focus line, but not with their Coverall line. Which means I don't feel comfortable buying from them for their coverall line anymore. So this is in a project pan and I've been using it every day. These two have, this one has a good um, shade range so I'm fine with that. This one um, has an okay shade range but it's, it's leaps and bounds better than their past shade ranges. This has 16 shades I believe and in the past they would have anywhere between 1 and 4 shades per base product, whether it was a foundation or BB cream or CC cream. So I am proud of Physicians Formula for putting in effort. And as I said on Instagram, they need to continue to put in effort for me to buy from them. Um, so I'm, I'm okay with this right now. So I do have one less foundation from before. By the end of my project pan for Disney Animated Film project pan, I should be down to two foundations, and I would like to try more inclusive drugstore foundations. If you have any recommendations, I would love to hear it. I have normal skin, and um, I like medium to full coverage. For setting powder, I had two, and I have two. It, this has changed. I finished one of these, and then I bought these two. So I started the year with two separate bottles of these, I believe. Or it was one bottle and something else. And now I have, both of these are new, but this one I just opened. So I'm happy with that. I I don't mind having backups of my favorite things like brow stuff, powder, concealer, because I go through them all the time. Bronzer, I have my butter bronzer. Um, this is what it looks like. This is in my Destination Pan project. I'm happy with that. I messed up my planner when I wrote them down and I put dim light as a bronzer 
It is technically more like a bronzer for me, but it also works as a contour. It looks like it would be a highlighter, which it would be on a darker skin tone or deeper skin tone. But on me, I can bronze slash contour this. These two serve different purposes, so I am going to put them in different categories. So I went from one bronzer and one contour to still one bronzer and one contour. So I'm fine with that. Blush. Okay. So the difference between my collection of blush now and before is I decluttered one thing. Oh, I have this out. This is what I've been depotting my RCMA powder in. Um, I will be getting a new powder thing like that for that purpose at some point, but that's what that is. It's not an extra product. It's just an empty container I had. So I do have um, Hourglass. First I have Mood Exposure. This is from the blush palette that came out in 2014. Then for full sizes, I have Inc Incandescent Electra, which is a pretty coral pink. And then I have Brilliant Nude, um, which is like a brown. And it's um, this is the strobe lighting blush, so it's a little more shimmery. Then I have, so those are my three hourglass blushes. Then I have my Butter Blush, and this is in Plum Rose. And I'm really happy with these three. I would, I'm would. i trying to pan this one. Um, I like this one, and I like Brilliant Nude, but on my skin tone, these show up basically like a bronzy blush. So I would like to use this one up and then keep this one, or maybe use both of them up. I'm not sure. But before I had five blushes, and now I have these four, so I'm happy. But ideally, for me, it would be three. I'm just not a blush person, so when I wear blush, I just need it to go with my eye makeup. I don't really care about shine or, like, I don't care if it's matte or shimmery or whatever. Um, in the beginning of the year, it says I had two highlighters. I don't even remember what my other one was. This is Hourglass Luminous Light. I've gone through multiple of these, as I have of Dim Light as well. Um, I think this might be my second or third compact, and I just really love it. I don't know how to hold it. That's good, I guess. Um, on me, it's just like my skin tone, but a little shimmery, so it's really nice. I'm panning other eyeshadows as highlighter right now, so I haven't been using it. So my highlighter section went down by one. And I think all that's left is eyeshadow, so this is going to be a little complicated. Um, as I've said in my past inventories, I cannot do math. I'm going to go get a calculator, and if you don't want to watch me calculate it, you can skip towards the end. This might take me a hot minute. I can't find my calculator, so I'm going to use my laptop. While I'm waiting for that to turn on, I'm going to start putting them into sections. So, I have, let's see, four, five, six, seven eight, nine, actually no. One of these is not an Urban Decay eyeshadow. There we go. Um, I have these eight Urban Decay single shadows. This is Anastasia Mercury. I made my own ugly label for it. This is in a project pan. I needed a container to press it in. This is a separate thing. Oh no, now it's, see, this is what I'm talking about. It's always breaking. Over everything. What the fuck? I fucking hate that. Um, I obviously can't review subculture, but just like, just based on this eyeshadow alone, if you're gonna get it, just don't repress anything. It's a bad idea. It's just gonna crumble. So here's eight. This Becca palette is five. Um, I'm gonna put my single singles over here. I have three of the Stila Glitter and Glows. I have, let's see, the Naked 2 has 10 eyeshadows in it right now, right, yep, the Naked has 10 also, I'm not going to show you what they look like because I don't want to spoil my update for Pan That Palette, so those, that's 20, that's 8, that's 5, that's 3, 
This is also three. These are my, I have a Smashbox single, this on a, um, Anastasia thing, and then a Kat Von D single, so that's three. This Tarte palette has five left. Oop, are you going to be able to see this? There you go. This has five left. Um, this palette, my custom one's going to be a pain in the ass because I have to count them singularly. All of these quads have four, except one of them is in the wrong place. Put that back in here. Okay, so for my Anastasia quads that look like this, oopsie, um, these all have four, so this is 16 Anastasia single shadows. I'll show you a pretty one. That's my pretty one. So that's 16. This, oh shit, this Viseart palette has six. I knew this was going to be a disaster. Um, I'm not going to take it out, but the Skinny Dip palette, I think it has six. Yeah, the box says the Skinny Dip has six shadows in it. I love when they tell me because I can't count. Then my Natasha Denona palette has five. I can tell because it says five right there. Not because I'm smart. And then I have this palette. Um, so this palette, if you can see, has... I'm just going to move these things down. So you can see what I got. So this is everything in my custom palette right now. And this has... So this is nine plus three plus five, right? Yeah. Nine plus three... Let me make this easy for myself. 9 plus 1 is 10. This is really sad. 9 plus 1 is 10. Plus 3 is 13. 14, 50, 60, 17. I think this has 17. If you're a mathematician, let me know if that's right. Last year I had 76 eyeshadows. Well, not last year. January. Whatever. Six months ago I had 76 eyeshadows. Now I have 94. I knew I was going to do something wrong, so I just recalculated my eyeshadows. And it's actually 91, whereas before I thought it was 94. I messed up because I thought I counted these two shadows as being different from this one. But these are all actually one shadow. What happened was I dropped all my eyeshadows on the floor. And this one... All of the eyeshadow fell out. This is what I could repress into there. This is eyeshadow that accidentally got mixed with other shadows. So they look a little different than that one. So I put them in separate pans. And then I also thought this eyeshadow was actually two because part of it is in this pan. So this is one, but I counted it as two. So I wasn't that bad. So I corrected this to 91 for foundation, I put four instead of three because I got this sample from Sephora from Fenty Beauty. And um, it has four milliliters, which is a pretty decent amount, which means I have to count it. If I get a foil packet type sample, I don't count those because I finish them usually within a week. So my total was 137 and now it's 135. Which, I don't remember what my total was from before, but I think that's pretty good. When I add up 85 and 36, I think the total is 120-something. Um, I'm going to put it on screen. So, I have more than before, which I think has to do with eyeshadow and lipstick mainly. Although, I did increase numbers for things like brows and concealer and foundation and setting powder um but overall the like I have things like this that aren't going to take long or I have things like brows where it's like I just bought a backup because something is running out so I'm not mad about the numbers